Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to expand a little bit on a recent video where we are using conditional formatting to highlight the next month in our table of data. Now, it works pretty darn well for 11 of the 12 months, but when December rolls around, we're going to have a little bit of an issue. Now, so that you can understand what the problem is, I'm going to create a separate cell over here where I say, pretend today is, and we're going to put in a date that we can change easy enough to affect our conditional formatting. So let's pretend today is March 1st, 2021. It's actually April, but that's okay. We're going to pretend it's March 1st of 2021. Now I'm going to go ahead and modify my additional, my, my current conditional formatting rule. So I'm going to click on conditional formatting, manage rules, this worksheet, there's the one I want. I'm going to click edit the rule. Now focus your attention on this for a bit. I'm just going to make a really quick change. Instead of referring to the today function, I'm going to delete that today function and I'm going to put in dollar sign I dollar sign eight. I8, that's the cell that contains my pretend date. So that's what I'm doing there. I'm getting rid of the today function and putting in I8. Now, of course, this conditional formatting rule is going to be best with the today function. So it is going to be going back in there when we're all done. And again, I'll do that over here. I don't want the year of today. I'm going to delete that and put in dollar sign I dollar sign eight. There we go. Now, when I click OK and then click OK again, you'll notice if we pretend it is March, then April is the month that gets selected. Cool. That's exactly what we want. If we were pretending it was November 17th of 21, then the next month is going to be December. And December is the one that gets highlighted. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. However, what if it was December 8th? of 2021. Here's where the problem occurs. Our existing conditional formatting rule is doing something which doesn't work for December. So we need to fix that up. So I think one of the easiest ways to solve this issue is to create an additional conditional formatting rule. For the heck of it, I'm going to go ahead and select this range of data that I'm interested in. Conditional formatting. And let's do a new rule using a formula, and then we'll focus right in here. Now we are going to do another AND function. So I do AND opening and closing parentheses. And I want three things to be true. I want to know that the month of A2, and I want that to be absolute column, relative row, is equal to the month of I8. This is all pretty familiar. That can be completely absolute. Comma. This is the second argument of the AND function. I want to know that the year of A2, absolute column relative row, is equal to the year of I8. That's our temporary placeholder for the today function comma, the third AND argument. I want to know that the month of I8 is equal to 12. So this is only going to be from current months, current dates, if it's December. Now, before I hit OK, I'm not done yet. I don't want to look at the current date for the row. I want to look at the previous one. This is a little different from the last conditional formatting rule. So instead of A2, I'm going to change that to A1. And instead of A2 there, that's also going to be A1. It's one just above the row that I'm looking at. It's kind of weird, but I'm formatting a row based on the date in the previous row. Now, I think we're in pretty good shape here. Oh, I do need a formatting. Um, now, we used a light yellow before. I'm going to use a light green on this one just for test case and so it stands out to us. I'm going to click OK, and I'll click OK. Hmm. Now, I didn't get my formatting, but I think that formula is right. So let's go back, conditional formatting, manage rules. 
Uh, it looks like Excel put some quotation marks in there where I didn't want. So let me edit that rule. Let's look at it here. I've seen Excel do this before. So let me get rid of that quotation mark there and the quotation mark there. I'm not sure if I left that an equal sign or something. Let's just kind of glance at it here. I think that looks pretty good. Ooh, do I have... No, I think that's pretty good. All right, let me click OK again. And click OK. Ah, there we go. So now January is being highlighted, which is what it should be. So let's go through a test. If it is March, or if it's April 10th of 21, then May gets selected. If it's 11-10 of 21, then December gets selected. And if it is 12-10-21, then the next January gets selected. Let's do a quick test. And what if it was 12-10-24? Must mean that January of 25 should be our highlighted month. And sure enough, there it is. Excellent. Now that we see that that's working, back to the conditional formatting, manage rules, this worksheet, let me go to my green one there, and I'll edit that rule, change the formatting so that the fill is going to be that shade of yellow. I think that's the one that I chose. Click OK, click OK. So they're both going to be that same shade of yellow. Nobody will know the difference. Once you've ted this, tested this out with your pretend date, then both of these need to be edited. Let me go back and I'll edit the first one there. And wherever it says I8, I don't want I8 anymore. I want today with an empty set of parentheses. Whenever I see the I8, which was my temporary pretend date, I'm going to change that to today with a set of parentheses. So there was three on that one. Let me click OK. And let me get this second one here. Edit that. And again, I'm changing out the I8s to the today function. Today, empty set of parentheses. OK. So now, this conditional formatting is going to work. Remember, I'm making this video. It's uh, in April. It's April 9th. And so our next month is May. Our pretend data is no longer necessary. And when it gets to December, we would expect to see this January row being formatted. Thanks for hanging out with me.